Greetings from the second age of reason. I hate to keep belaboring a point, but uh, the leak of the British Petroleum oil well in the Gulf of Mexico hasn't been fixed yet. It's been over a month. And I think I should bring some information to bear on the matter. Some say it's a British Petroleum problem. They dug the well. They made the mess. They should clean the mess. They should pay. And to that I say, yes, they should. Some say it's President Obama's Katrina. To which I say, well, Katrina was a natural disaster. This one is man-made. On the other hand, though, the oil is now encroaching on our shores. Now that it's touched our land, it's an American problem. And yes, it is under President Obama's jurisdiction, and he needs to start thinking about what he's going to do about it. So that would make it an American government issue. Some would say it's the American people. I mean, it's their oil, but their thirst for oil that always wants to have more and more of it. So it's their problem. And that's true too, but that's not fixing the problem. They need to, we need to think of it as that we own the problem because it's coming at us. I mean, it's down there now. It's summertime. The winds are from the south. There's more to the oil than just the slime on the top. There's gases too, methane, benzene, and other things, making people sick. Eventually, they'll have to begin evacuating the Gulf Coast as the Gulf fills up from this leak, which is more of a petroleum volcano. And so they work and they're using booms. From what I understand, they're not using them very effectively. It's too bad. They could have been using hay to, to sop it up as well. Also, they are using dispersants, chemicals. And the chemical makes the oil break up and disappear. Well, the oil never really disappears. It uh, breaks up and goes into the water. It fits in between the molecules better. So you don't see it. But it's still there. It doesn't remove a drop of oil. The dispersants, they do not remove oil. They simply break it up like a detergent would when you wash it. Once you break it up, what are you going to do with it? Actually, now you have poisonous oil and you have poisonous dispersant working together. Poisoning. So you're going to see a lot of things die in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, you would think Europe and Africa would be up in arms about this and saying stuff. Are they? Listen, when it hits the loop current, eventually it's going to hit the Irish coast, the British coast, Iceland, France, Spain, Portugal, and Africa. They sit there smugly because they have their little acute acoustic switches, but it's not stopping the BP oil from the Gulf eventually going to land on their shores. Do they know that? Do they care? Now, there's something else. That's making it into an American-European problem, but it's a world problem, too. As that oil and poisons are in the ocean, poisoning things, let's paint the scenario. Poisoning algae, poisoning kelp, poisoning that which puts oxygen in our atmosphere, more so than the rainforests and deciduous forests of the land, as those underwater forests die invisibly. That's going to cut into our oxygen. Did you think about that? That makes it a humanity problem. That makes it an air-breathing creature problem for the whole planet. We're probably looking at extinctions as great or greater than when the dinosaurs disappeared. Who's going to fix it? Hopefully, we'll start fixing it soon, because at some point, 
the environment in the Gulf will become uninhabitable for humans. So I just want to make sure that I put something out there while I still can. Just say, fix it please. We know what's our problem. We need to get it fixed soon. And not just dispersing it to dissolve it and make it sort of disappear, because it's still there. You need to stop it. Stop it entirely. You know, I've proposed cryogenics. I can propose a giant screw thing that would go into the pipe, twisting in there and eventually sealing it. But I don't know what you have available. I think the government and British Petroleum need to get together with the best minds and start putting something together in a hurry. Because time is passing, and that is all for today. This is the Second Age of Reason, signing out. See you later.